Hey guys, so today I'm in the biggest and most popular tourist destination in Bulgaria. Uh, the resort is called Sunny Beach and today I'm going to do you a guided tour of this lovely tourist town in the southeast of Bulgaria. So today I'm on the south side of Sunny Beach, which is the old part, that is the original part of Sunny Beach that dates back to communist times when uh, the resort opened in 1959. Back then, in 1959, the, um, the communist government here opened Sunny Beach up and started to develop hotels here. And then it was like for local tourists uh, to come. Hello. Hey. Hello. It was for local tourists to come just for weekend breaks originally. And now it's developed into the biggest tourist destination in Bulgaria and one of the biggest tourist destinations in Europe. So you can see uh, to the left side, there's lots of shops here selling all t-shirts and different copies and everything. Um, you can buy Calvin Klein, Armani, Hugo Boss and Guess in these shops. This is one of the best destinations for shopping in Europe. I love the shopping here and I buy lots of things here every single day. And Bulgaria, it's an interesting country because Bulgaria is one of the oldest countries in Europe and it dates back to the seventh century. So the past here is covered in uh, interesting history with the Romans and the Greeks and the Serbians. And there's been many different influences here in this country. So on the left side, this shop here, it's selling all the designer bags. Let's have a look at what you can buy. Well, if you like Michael Kors, there's plenty of Michael Kors copies here, counterfeit bags, and they'll be uh, for sale at a much, much cheaper price than the original ones. They've got all different types and designs. Let's have a look closely if you like shopping. These are mostly bag, bags for ladies here, but you can also buy wallets for men and bags for men here as well. And here's your wallets there. You can, you can find the logo that you like, like Levi's or Hugo Boss. If you like designer stuff, you will love it here, guys, in Sunny Beach. So let's swing round. So we're walking in the direction now of the promenade and you have lots of pubs here like the Morris pub here on the right side. Just everywhere you've got pubs all over town with all different promotions. To the left side you have a shop selling children's stuff. There's lots of families that come on holiday here so there's plenty of things for families as well and you can buy the things that you need for the beach here. Uh, all your sandals you can buy in all of these shops and your bathing suits. You can buy your towels here for 10 lev in this shop here. 10 lev is about five pounds or about six euros. On the left side here you have a shop selling excursions. There's lots of day trips and excursions here. Like for example, I was here for two weeks on holiday, so I want to do a few excursions maybe this holiday. And I was looking at some options and things. Um, some things you can do here in terms of day trips and excursions from Sunny Beach. Um, you can go on a day trip to Istanbul. I think it's about six hours away from here, but you can do a one day trip and you can go and shopping and see the Top Kapi Palace and all the attractions of Istanbul, Turkey, which is the one of the most interesting cities in the whole world and that is the biggest city in Turkey. Um, I also recommend you the Jeep Safari. You can see that on the sign there. You can ride the quad bikes or Jeeps out there in the countryside and that's a brilliant excursion. Um, the other day I went to an excursion shop and he said you can do that one for about £25 each based on two people or if it's one person it's 80 lev so that's about £40 um, for the Jeep Safari, but it varies from shop to shop. So you need to check the prices as well. Um, and there's other trips such as um, Khan's Tent. You'll see that on TripAdvisor. That's one of the, I think that's the most popular one that all the tourists come when they do, they do it when they come here. Um, and you get live music and acrobats and it's a whole evening out with all the food included and everything else. And I think it costs about 80 lev or 90 lev, which is about 40 pounds or um or 45 pounds to do the Khan's tent um so we can move on and you can see these currency exchange places everywhere in town so there's plenty of places here where you can change your money so you can look on the board outside what you much must watch for is it says buy and sell 
So for example, there's the rates, Euro, USD, pounds, Swiss currency, Swedish. Um, there's nothing on the Russian currency there now. So um, just to warn you, you cannot change Russian money here now. Um, the reason why is all European countries, including Bulgaria, have banned Russian flights coming in here. Uh, Russian flights are not allowed because of the um, Russian government and what they did with the terrorism onto the Ukraine. Um, Russian flights are not allowed into Bulgarian airspace. And it's the same, uh, Bulgarian flights are not allowed into Russian airspace the same. Um, so that's happening at the moment. It's sad for Russian people, but it's because of what Putin did. Um, and here's all the souvenir shops here to the right side. Um, you can buy some lovely souvenirs here. Um, they're very reasonably priced as well. Um, I got um, I got a key ring, for example, a Jaguar key ring, and it was 10 lev. They wanted 15 because you can negotiate. They asked for 15 lev, and I offered them 10 lev, which is five pounds for the, um, the Jaguar key ring. And um, they gave me a five lev discount. So you can negotiate in these shops as well, guys. Hello. Hey, hello. And there's all these restaurants here. Like here's the Lotus restaurant here on the left side as well. Is it? Oh, thank you very much. Maybe try it, maybe give that a go. So he said it's the best restaurant in Eastern Europe here. So I have to try it. The food is so good here in Bulgaria. I've not been to any bad restaurant here at all, to be honest with you. Um, I've been to so many good restaurants here in this town. Um, but there's thousands and thousands of restaurants to choose from, from all different countries. And um, you can eat whatever food you want here in Sunny Beach. You'll, there's no shortage. I'm a foodie and there's no shortage of places to eat. But I do recommend you the mackerel fish here. The mackerel fish is very good. Some places do it for 12 lev, which is about six pounds. And other places do it for 15 lev, um, which is about seven pounds 50. So to the right side, that goes into the oldest area of Sunny Beach, like a real old communist style area from when the resort was, was built back in 1959. This is where the resort started, this part of Sunny Beach here. And as you can see, it's more commercial now with all the shops where you can buy typical souvenirs everywhere here. You can buy your towels straight ahead, your beach balls, your bats and balls, everything you need for the beach. And straight ahead in the center, they're doing body piercing and jewelry. To the right side, we have another tourist shop. So they've got fishing nets if you want to go fishing there. Uh, you've got stuff for the children, you know, the buckets and everything for the children. And um, here you've got all your beach towels and everything else. And uh, we've got sandals as well here. How much are the sandals, mate? 15 lever, yep. So it's seven pounds 50 for a pair of sandals off this gentleman here. So uh, he'll do you some good quality sandals with different uh, uh, designer labels on the sandals as well. And I saw his shop last year. Now to the right side, you have the casino here. It's a big high casino and it's also a hotel and it's called the Casino Europe. And there's lots and lots of casinos around Sunny Beach here. You see casinos everywhere. So there's plenty of places to gamble if you like gambling guys as well. And I've been told that the casinos here are very high quality, all kinds of machines and games, whatever you want, it's all in there. So today it's the 31st of May. It's about 24, 25 degrees today. The weather is absolutely perfect, really nice and sunny. It's very hot. You probably um, need sun cream on a day like today, to be honest with you. But the one thing is when you're here in Sunny Beach, when you buy sun cream, sun cream is very expensive here. I just went into the supermarket and I noticed that sun cream cost you 40 lever. It's a famous sun cream with a, with a known label, but still 40 lever is 20 pounds for one sun cream. So my advice is bring your sun cream with you. And when you go to a supermarket here, watch the prices. If the prices are too high, walk to another supermarket and you'll probably get half the price. For example, I recommend you the Janet supermarket where you can get a bottle of water for 55 local currency, which is 25 pence. 
and the other supermarkets I saw around here, they were charging two lev or more for a water, <coughs> which is one pounds or one pound 50 they were charging for a water, which is double the price. So to the right side here, we have a beach club called Kiki Beach. So what it is, it's a bit like in Ibiza where you have these chill out beach parties. You have all the DJs on, you have dancers on, you have a great big party. It goes on right through the day and through the night. And that's the best beach club in Sunny Beach. It's like a designer beach club with all the big white beds. People wear all trendy designer clothing inside there. It is a somewhat a luxury type of place really but you will really enjoy a day visit to Kiki Beach. So if you want to find Kiki Beach, then you find it on the south side of Sunny Beach, going in the direction of Nesibar. Nesibar is not far from here. It's about 10 minutes in a taxi. Um, mind you, taxis are very expensive here in Bulgaria. If you get a taxi here in Sunny Beach, sometimes they ask you for about 30 lev, which is 15 pounds for a small journey. Sometimes they ask you for 20 lev, which is like 10 pounds for a small journey as well. So I recommend you get the bus, go to the main road, the big main road just behind here. And there's lots of buses going up and down and the buses cost you two lev, which is one pound or uh, like one euro 50 or something like that. And make sure you have change so you can pay in cash for the bus as well, because they might not accept cards but you might as well use the public transport that's put on for you. The buses are about every 15 or 20 minutes going from here to Nesibar and going the other way through to um, Sveti Vlas, which is the opposite direction, going to the north direction. Then the buses are about every 20 minutes or every half an hour or something like that. So before I told you about um, currency exchange, so what you need to do here is look for a bank. You get these currency exchange shops all around town here and the rates seem to be very low. Like the rate today might be 2.25 lev to the pound, for example. But if you go to a currency exchange shop, you get 2.14. But if you go to the bank, you can get 2.18. So find a bank, for example, there's a bank called the Cooperative on Flower Street and just ask them their rates. And then you're not paying the high commissions and the high charges that you will pay at currency exchange shops here. So that should sh save you some money, especially if you're, if you're changing a lot of money at the start of your holiday, like 200, 300, 400 pounds. Hi mate, how's it going? Hi, uh, where are you doing the blog? It's a lovely day. Are yeah, I'm doing, doing it's, uh, it's my YouTube channel. It's called Travel with Col. I've seen it, I think yeah. subscribe. Oh, nice one mate, cheers, have a nice day. Oh, Bye, you. cheers. So on the, on the left side here, there's a lady, they do, um, they do massage there, just on the left side. I saw it the other day, all different types of massage and they do hairdressing and pedicure and they do all the henna stuff as well. So you can find all different things that you'll uh, want to do with your time around town here as well. And here for the children, you've got the, um, the wheel of Sunny Beach and that would be really nice to get a view of the whole coast and you can look all the way down to Nesibar from there. Opposite here, we have live music on the posters and the bars and uh, who are they advertising there? They've got Robbie Williams, uh, counterfeit bands, um, like cover bands, and um, they've got Robbie Williams on today on Sunday at 10 p.m. And um, it's advertising that all different people are on. They've got a hypnotist show here. They've got a comedy show with a hypnotist. They've got bingo where you can win cash as well. They've got all kinds of different things going on here. You can find your English breakfast here at all the restaurants. They all do English breakfast. Most of them include a cup of tea or coffee and most of them do it for about 15 lev. If you, that's about £7.50 for an English breakfast. I'd say that's a fair price, really. If you're paying more than 15 lev, then you want to walk on and have a look around, really, because some of them do charge high prices now. There's this one, Crown Exchange, here on the sign. Um, Crown Exchange is a little bit expensive in my opinion, so maybe have a shop around and see, uh, maybe go to the bank to change your money instead, like I said before. Um, there's the Pomori Sun Hotel, so that's located right here in a really good location on the promenade. It's about 10 minutes walk from here to Flower Street, which is the main party street with all the bars and the clubs 
and all the shops on. And um, opposite here, you've got the Rock and Grill Garfield Pub. It's a bar and a restaurant. Let's have a look on the terrace. I think everyone's on the beach today because it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and it's a lovely sunny day. Lovely terrace there, as you can see. Let's get back across. So you've got the towels here for sale for 10 lev, that's five pounds. And on the right side here, they're also doing towels for 20 lev. What's in this shop? You've got all your bikinis, you've got all your um, beach sandals and shoes. You can buy all the designer polo t-shirts here as well. Um, all the shorts, all the designer socks are very cheap, very cheap indeed for the socks. They're about one pound for a pair. Um, and these are the car key rings here. This one there, 15 lev. I bought one for 10 lev the other day. Uh, the same, so you can negotiate as well. Um, there's lots of nice things that you can buy in these shops and just, just have a look. You can buy, there's all fridge magnets down here as well. Um, they're probably about one and a half lev for a fridge magnet. So um, that's about 75 pence for one. And all of your typical tourist things here. They have all scarves and hats and everything as well. Get all the designer caps here. Uh, they're very cheap. They're about five lev, which is about two pound 50. And uh, you can get really, really good quality copies of the football shirts, just like the originals here. Um, I think you pay about 25 lev for a football shirt in most of the shops here. Um, so it's about 12 or 13 pounds. You can see them just there. different sizes as well and here they've got the um the boxer shorts for sale it's um three for 20 lever which is three for 10 pounds for the boxer shorts you can buy names here like tommy hilfiger philip klein calvin klein what else have they got they've got armani there they've got all the names and you can get the name of your favorite player on the back of the football shirt like that one there, it's got Rashford, Haaland, Messi and Bap. It's great for children here. They've just got everything here for children. You can buy all of your copies of your trainers there at the back in this shop. Let me just show you. Hello. Hello. And the copies look very similar to the original ones. Um, so you've got Adidas, you've got Nike. Um, you've got New Balance. Let's have a look at the quality of them. As I said before, it's excellent here if you like shopping as well. And uh, you can get all the caps with the name of your football team on it, like Real Madrid, Liverpool. You can get the designer names like um, Adidas, Armani, Tommy Hilfiger on your caps as well. So it's great here for shopping. Bye, have a nice day. And let's continue this walk around, this stroll. So I've had a lovely holiday here, really. I arrived here on the 23rd of May. Um, I had about three days of sun and then it went a bit cloudy. Yesterday was a rainy day. Today's super hot, super hot and sunny. But May is a lovely time of the year to come and visit here, actually, guys, it's sunny beach, because the weather is good here in May. The flights are cheaper in May as well. And the hotels are cheaper if you come in May and June. Uh, once you get to July and August, the hotels are double the price here. So I do recommend if you come here in September or come here in May or June, if you want good value for money. Also, the shops give you discounts if you come in the lower season here, because um, in the high season, everything goes up high. There's no special offers here in the high season, guys. So guys, um, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C-O-L. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.